thank God and give him all the glory and the praise. I worship his holy name for his love and mercy that he continually bestows upon us. Indeed, the Lord has been exceedingly good unto us and we give him all the praise. Once again, I come your way with our devotional, The Simple Truths, and our topic for today is Fruits of Diligence. Our case comes at John chapter 6, verse 13. Therefore, they gathered them together and filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. The Lord asked his disciples to go around and collect all the fragments of the loaves of bread. They were able to gather 12 baskets full. All these would have been wasted and may be trampled underfoot. These leftovers could be sent to others who may be in dire need of it. Diligence always makes individuals better. Everyone who judiciously uses whatever comes into his care secures a better tomorrow for himself. Things that are the property of a community may be left for nobody to take care of it. State-owned enterprises and even churches would prosper greatly if certain properties of the organization was judiciously cared for. In the Garden of Eden, God asked Adam to dress and keep the garden, Genesis 2, 15. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Adam was supposed to dress the garden, that is to work or serve the garden. He was also to guard it or protect it. Satan had access into the garden, spoke to Eve, and succeeded in deceiving her, and she gave some to the husband, who obliged without questioning her or the devil. A little diligence would have saved the situation. Churches would have been richer if they have been diligent to avoid wastages. Many would enjoy a more happier life if they would use various resources well. What are some of the resources that many fail to utilize well? Some of the resources that we may consider to be diligent about are as follows. One, our health. Two, our finance. Three, our time. Four, our minds. Five, our families. Six, our social life. Seven, our spiritual life. Eight, our belongings or properties. There are more to the above resources that we have to be diligent about. One should not be observed over the other, for they are all interlinked. The failure of one aspect will affect the other aspect. Just consider your health. If you eat rightly, avoid fat-based foods, processed foods, and high sugary stuff, you will be saving yourself from all kinds of long-term terminal diseases. Your good health is directly related to your finances, your spiritual, and even social life. Feeding your mind with the truth about God's word will save you from so much errors and emotional turbulences. Now your time is everything. Failure to utilize it well means you are a failure in life. A neglected family can be too costly a bargain to do. Some parents have lost their children to all kinds of destructive behaviors because they failed to be diligent to care for their families. The worst of this is a neglected marriage. Please take care of these resources, dress and keep them for your own good. Amen. Now thought, to neglect your life is to negate your life. To neglect your life is to negate your life. Further studies, Ephesians 5, 15 and 16. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Romans 12, 11 and 12. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Amen. <laughs>